Okay, and I'm back. Ah, <sighs> so I uh I just took a much needed nap because you really don't want to start exploring these mines without having taken a nap first. <laughs> I guess I could start using fireball on some of those guys. <laughs> Alright, so now Akshel's rogue skills are up to three. And for a little while I'm gonna put this crossbow back in Bakata's hands. And get his rogue up well. We'll try and get it up to four, but we'll see. Really, these people put strange things in their filing cabinets. Most of these tool inventories. Shell died and I didn't even notice it. You know, these flying monsters make a pretty satisfying sound when you hit them. I think most of the sound effects in this game are really well done. I might have mentioned that already, but. More orc jargon, no doubt. But still, I think it's pretty impressive. secret wall here. There's silver coins in here. At last! You must be the rescue party. That's great, I have the option to attack this guy too, but I'll talk to him for now. What happened to the miners? They all ran away last year when monsters invaded the mine. I alone stayed behind to finish the monthly tool inventory. How did you get in? One of those hideous Larkons has been blocking the only passage. We seek a friend who may be in these mines. Have you seen anyone come past here? I've been hiding under the desk and eating nothing but these stale biscuits for months. There could be a herd of wild horses down on one of the lower levels and I wouldn't know about it. All I want to do is to get out of here. The Larkon at the entrance is now dead. You may make your escape now. Excellent! I'll leave as soon as I finish these reports. You'll need that if you go messing around in the mines. Jeez, my inventory is full again. I'll sign that out to you right away. Um... If there's one guy that probably deserves to be killed on principle, I think it's definitely this one, because everyone left the mine a year ago, but he stayed behind to do all the reports, and now he's complaining about how he wants to leave. You tell him it's safe to leave, but he insists on staying and finishing more reports. I knew you would return. Oh, seeing he's kind of snobby too, so let's kill him. <laughs> Pity. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not really a pity, though. That's hilarious. Alright, but we got what we needed from him, which was mainly a pickaxe. And we got some information. Oh, look, here's another helm already. So... Ah, oh, my inventory's all full. I hate it when that happens. I should be willing to give up the, uh... 
the green skull by now. Uh, let's make sure we've explored most of the places we need to here. Oh, lock picks. I got like three of those now. Notes, papers, nothing of interest to us. Notice only one meal per day. No exceptions for dwarves. Hmm. I've never seen a dwarf in the Lens of Lore series. Not even sure I've seen an elf before. I had an argument with somebody whether or not Timothy was an elf. This person insisted that he was. And uh, I'd rather not believe there were elves in the Lands of Lore series. However, he did have pointy ears, but he could have just been like... I don't know, there could have been lots of reasons he was like that. So... Always pick a lock if you can, just in case. Ah, I believe a key element must be missing. This is a water pump. It's going to be pretty important later on, so we're going to have to find the parts for it. Let's try out our fireball. pretty well. I can leave behind this regular crossbow. A great maul, eh? Well, that's a pretty nice weapon. Alright, we're gonna go with that for now. There's silver coins in here. Alright, that's about it, so now we can actually go down into the mine itself. Which, I can't tell you how badly I'm dreading this. Especially this first part. You remember earlier I took- well, hang on, let me get this lock. You hear that bouncing sound? That's the sound that fills me with dread. There's some iron grazers up here, and they melt all kinds of things on you. Ah, uh, see, there they are. Don't burn my armor. Now the acid burn my armor. Ah, alright. So we burned my armor. Man, I hate that sound. Do it. You'll see me saving a lot more down here too, just because I'm entering some more dangerous territory. And just on this first level. You only get armor so many times in this game, so when those guys burn your armor instantly in one shot, that's pretty irritating, obviously. So you got to kill those things pretty fast, so they don't have a chance to. Ooh, a note. Orin, it is true, I tell you. The rocks are alive. I am leaving this accursed place. Jeff. I hope Jeff got out okay. These uh, mini toga people are pretty interesting. They'll poison you, but at least they can't melt my armor. Mm. 
Excellent. That's a uh, rogue level four for Bakata, which increases his life and his mana. So I'm telling you, if you ever play this game, make sure you spend time developing that skill. It's, it helps. There's a lot of pits we're going to have to fall down here. We're going to be going up and down a lot. It's just an entire place that you need to slowly unravel. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it now, because we got to start mapping this place out. So let's see where we are. Silver key. I need that for this. There is, there is no way to pick this lock. All right, so we probably got to use it. <laughs> Keys are in really short supply down here. I get a load of this guy. those living rocks, no doubt. These things are actually pretty tough. It looks like a nest of some kind. <laughs> it smells like burned flesh. Most nests you find you can eventually burn. Piscotta erosia, four four five. Piscotta erosia, four four five. That the meaning of that note was always uh, mind-boggling to me, and I, I always thought it was something important in the game. I looked it up eventually, and I. If I'm not mistaken, it's a reference to another Westwood Studios game. I think uh, the uh, what's that game called? The Legend of Carandia. It, it's making some reference to that game, but I can't remember exactly what it was about. But I obsessed with it anyway. Obsessed over it anyway, because I thought, gosh, that could be important, and I kept that note. I'll keep it in there for now as long as I have the inventory space. Do I have any idea where I'm going? Alright. That sound you're hearing are the avian worms. Uh, one of the hardest parts in the mine is when you have to face a ton of them. And uh, they can kill me pretty fast. But uh, right now they're sealed off on another side, so I don't have to worry about them just yet. There's more of these guys now. I think, if I'm not mistaken, attacking these guys with a pick is the best way since they're technically made of rocks and you're picking them with a rock. I could be mistaken about that though, but... Jewel, which belongs right here. Gem fits. Empty flask. Um, 
I don't need one of those just to... Mm, empty. <laughs> and get a load of how fun this is. Whee! Remember the last game that you actually rode a minecart in? I doubt it. I doubt Skyrim has anything like that. Can I pick this? Ah, good. I should have rested. Boy, these things are strong. <laughs> All right, well, look. Oh, that door shut behind me. Hang on, I'll kill this guy and then we'll take a break. Alright, so when we get back, we'll undoubtedly be killing more of those rock monsters, and uh, and we'll continue exploring the mine, so we'll see you all then. <laughs>